six. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Winston. They'll roll him out right. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. So they took a shot there on third down, couldn't get it. Now it's four. So this is what happens when you throw interceptions, that confident veneer that you have. It's chipped away a little bit, maybe a little bit gun-shy throwing it around. Yeah, under-throwing him there, and you're right. Those interceptions may be in the back of his mind. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Here's Winston. And this is going to be incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Bears will get the football back. So we were looking at each other up here in the booth when they went for that, saying, oh, wow, talk about trying to add insult to injury. Some teams are just like that. You know, some philosophies, some coaches are like, look, when I got a chance to put some more points on the board, I don't care what the situation, I'm going to do it. And they're also the same coaches as a general rule. That if someone does it to them, you won't hear a peep of protest out of them. That's just who they are. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Now Glennon. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. Over the middle complete. That's Cunningham. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Fresh set of downs here. He'll drop to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He was looking for Zach Miller as tight in there. That'll bring up second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. That's incomplete. Nearly another pick. My goodness. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. The Bears on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and ten. Here we go now. Looking to throw. And my goodness, another interception. Able to get there and pick it. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran a wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing it. Jameis now on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Evans. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. 23 yards on the play. 
They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. Dance into his left. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. And while he did a good job of sliding around in the pocket, there was nowhere to go with the football, so he had to take off and try and run. He just got back to the line of scrimmage. No gain. Now a second down throw for Winston. Bringing it in, Jackson left side. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. He got 29 yards that time. First out, here's the run with Martin. And he's able to work free for about six down to the 18. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. The Bucks on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. Here it's third and two. They'll try a little trickery here on the end around. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. It's first and goal now, but still 10 yards to go. Now a run with Martin. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. So second and goal here from the nine. They run. Martin. He gets this down to the three, but no further. Brought the power run out of the bag and got a couple extra yards with it. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. They'll run for it with Martin. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. I guess not content to get another three here late. They'll try to add six more as they go on fourth and goal. Now receiver in motion left. Now they send a man in motion right. They'll run for it. Martin, and he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Doug Martin taking it in from a yard out. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you, can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there. And they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You can see them sag on their sideline. And I think this one might just be over.
And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Keith Tandy. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer TD. Defensively, they've had their way in this one. That pick six makes that scoreboard even more lopsided. I remember talking with a guy in the league, and I said, what do you do when the game's like this? You know, it's pretty much over. You ready to go to the bench and hang out? He said, oh, heck no. I want to stay on the field. I might get some stats. I might get a pick or two. <laughs> you like being out there at the end of these wide margins. When they have to throw it, that gives you more opportunities to go get it. This is taken at the three. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget <laughs> today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great... Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Now, before this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Here we go now. Blue lining. Blue lining. Ah! He'll look to throw. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Kendall Beckwith in there to get him. And this pass rush strong now. That sacks on back-to-back -back plays. The Bears on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and 17. They'll set up a throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's right. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And right with it here over the middle. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will greatly.